the rice heartland of Luzon. It is host to some of the leading agricultural research institutes in the country. Though a city, much of its land is still set to agriculture. The Bacal project in Munoz saw the active participation of a group of women who would become key players in the community's development, the Barangay Health Workers, or BHWs. Maganda yung ginawa namin proseso kasi nakita namin ngayon mga problema dito sa loob ng aming barangay. Lalo na yung nasa kasulok-sulukan uh, kasi nahikayat yung mga uh, PO na galing doon sa mga liblib na purok namin. Ayun nga, naiparticipate nila yung mga kanilang problema kaya maganda yun para nakita ng barangay na ganito pala yung problema ng barangay namin. BHWs assist in delivering primary health care to the community. Today, they are doing the rounds in the village to inform mothers of the free vaccination in the coming week. Their work has kept them attuned with the concerns of their barangay. Dito sa bayan ng Munoz, dito pa lang sa barangay Villa Isla, yung naunang uh, nagbuo ng Barangay Development Council, at yun pa yung mauunang uh, nakapagbuo, uh, nakapagbuo ng GAD. GAD is the Gender and Development Budget. The Women in Nation Building Law provides that 5% of the local budget should be allotted for GAD programs. But there is widespread doubt over the efficacy of this policy. Questions remain as to how the fund should be determined and if it is really being used for its intended purpose. If we have a little bit of a we will have a little bit a GAD budget. Na kung saan dito nga yung itataas nga muna namin yung kamulatan ng mga nanay, lalo na yung mga nanay na andun lang sa bahay, hindi umaalis, ayawin ah, namin yun yung mga nanay na yon para mabigyan sila ng kamulatan. These women walk the extra mile in order to be heard. And as far as Barangay Villa Isla is concerned, development that values the contribution of men and women is a far greater goal than cityhood on paper. <laughs>